I want to show you how an IT administrator might use Copilot with Microsoft 365. We'll be helping Kylie throughout her day working with Microsoft 365 with assistance from Copilot. So let's get started. The first thing Kylie wants to do is summarize her emails and see if there's anything that needs her attention right away. So let's go ahead and use Copilot for that. So Kylie's in her Outlook. She's looking at her inbox. She uses Copilot over here, has a simple prompt summarizing incidents that have been reported in the last 20 days. It's going to look at emails and also team chats. Copilot returns this information. There's actually three issues. You can see those three issues right here. This gives Kylie a way to start her day, jump on the things that need her attention right away. Next, Kylie's involved in a daily stand-up meeting with the IT department. Let's take a look at that. This is a chat in Teams about the daily stand-up meeting. There's several issues that come up. Let's use Copilot to figure out what those are. We'll go to Copilot up here. We'll use a simple prompt right here. Copilot looks at the chat and brings up a couple of issues. You can see those issues here. They're having a problem with the test environment. Copilot looked at the transcript and brought this one to the forefront. This has saved some time for Kylie. She can focus on what's important in this chat. She can do it while she's in the chat and also afterwards. Next, Kylie's going to use Copilot in Word to help build out her project a little bit. So let's take a look at that. Here's Kylie's 2024 system upgrade plan. She's got the basics set up, but she wants to expand a couple areas. So let's use Copilot to help her expand that. Let's take a look at this task right here. We can highlight this. Copilot comes up here. Let's use Copilot. We're going to start entering a prompt, and you can see that here. We're asking Copilot to provide more detail on this step. And as we enter the prompt, Copilot adds some additional suggestions to enhance the prompt. So let's accept one of them. All we need to do is tab here. It brings up this information here. It adds another suggestion, but let's just use what we've got so far. Let's start Copilot. So Copilot makes a suggestion. It's highlighted here. You can see that all the way from the description itself to testing procedures, criteria for success, and roles. We can keep it or we can change it or we can go back and add another prompt to this. Let's go ahead and keep this. And now Kylie's happy with this version, so we're going to leave this version right here. Next, Kylie has been asked by the HR department to suggest a couple employee experience solutions that they could use in their department. So let's start in PowerPoint. We'll build out a basic PowerPoint, but then we're going to add to it by looking at Copilot and asking it to look at some specific information on the web about these solutions. So we open up PowerPoint and let's create a presentation about employee experience solutions. We'll use a simple prompt here and we'll have Copilot create a presentation for us. So Copilot has created this outline. Let's create a presentation for it. Copilot created this presentation for us. We're going to add a couple more slides. Let's add a new slide here, and we're going to add a second one. Now, next Kylie's going to go out to the internet. She's got two products in mind. We're going to take a summary off the product's web page and use that in the presentation. So let's go to Copilot, and she's already worked on one. Let's take a look at the results. This is a simple prompt. It says summarize the product page at this URL. Here's the results. Let's copy this. We're going to put that into our presentation. So this is the basic information from the website. Let's do another one here. I've got another URL. Let's take a look at this URL right here. This is a particular product. We'll just copy this. We'll go back to Copilot. We'll use the same prompt, but change the URL. Here's the new prompt with the new URL. Let's generate the response.
Here's another good summary. Let's copy this. We'll go back to our presentation. And just like that, Kylie has updated her presentation to include two products that she thinks would be good for an HR department. So we've helped Kylie with most of her day. At the end of the day, she wants to do some research on some new laptops. So let's go back to Copilot and do that research. So we already have a prompt here. We're gonna reuse it. Here's the first prompt here. What are the top five laptops for enterprise organizations this year? Copilot goes out to the web, searches this, and comes up with these five options. We then further say, what are the best ones for remote work? We enter our second prompt based on the same information, and we get these results. This has saved Kylie a lot of time. She doesn't have to go and look on different websites. Copilot did that for her, brought the information back to her. Copilot also lists citation for this information that it provided. You can see the citations right here. There's two of them for the second prompt. So that's a big advantage of Copilot. It will search for information on the web and also on your internal organization network. It will provide the information that you're looking for and then provide citations so that you can see where the information came from. You can also do further research on your own because you've got the information right there. So we showed you how an IT administrator can use Copilot with Microsoft 365 to be a little more creative, but also to be more productive. We looked at Copilot in Outlook, Teams, Word, and PowerPoint, and not just on its own. And I think you can see how Copilot could really help you with your day. If you've not tried it out yet, you really should. You'll find that it will boost your creativity a little bit and also make a more productive workday for you. If you're ready to deploy Copilot in Microsoft 365, download our free guide with the link in our video description.